I'm back! Oh my gosh, look at that next cast! Oh my gosh, that's a freaking giant! Oh my god! Well, the hair's a little bit longer, the beard's a little bit fuller, but man, does it feel good to be back out here on the water. Yeah, um, ended up taking a little bit of a break, had some family stuff that uh, needed to get figured out, needed my full attention, so fishing had to go by the wayside for about a month to deal with that, but now things are resolved and figured out, so I'm back out here on the water looking to bring you guys some content man it seriously has been about a month a little bit over a month since i've been on the water and let me tell you just putting the boat up on pad for the first time oh, wind blowing through the hair man it felt good i already saw a couple guys down on kayaks that are subscribers said hi to them um, but yeah we're doing something a little bit different today well not different but you know seeing as it's been a while since i've been out on the water um i figured you know what i have no idea what these fish are doing there's a big tournament going on out here today new gins out so I'm gonna stay away from all the big fish waters but i was like you know what i gotta go out and catch some fish so how do, what better way to do it than mystery tackle box um there's a link down in the description below for those of you guys that uh, want to want to try it out, Mystery Tackle Box is an easy way to experiment with all kinds of baits um, and just try to, you know, put a pattern together to see what the fish are doing. So I didn't run very far from the lawn tramp, um, but yeah, I'm excited to get back out here and start fishing. Man, it's been too long. I mean, <laughs> I know I know you guys know what it's like. Some of you guys go like three, four days, maybe a week without fishing, and it feels like you're all rusty, cobwebs and whatnot. But I hope that I haven't lost the juju and that there's some fish to be had out here. So, man, feels good. Just. <sighs> All right, so I got three full mystery tackle boxes. Oh man, there's just so much stuff. Got some little swim baits, ring tees, those would be good. Just put on like a weightless hook, drag it across the top of the grass. Got a little flipping beaver. Weird looking spinner bait. Guggen Squad Scout jerk bait might be able to find some. Don't think I'm gonna throw these live shot during drop shot into life. Well, we'll see. Large fry pattern. Um, yeah, another another little cross out. What's in the first box? Let's see what we got in the second. Okay, we got a little top water yappa bug. A little uh, rip bait. Rip bait I mean, there's a rip bait. Couple wacky, couple shaky head jigs, some split tail trailers. Those things are ugly, don't think I'll throw those. My buddy Nick Kanemoto, he's been fishing the Wednesday nighters with my dad while I've been gone. But this is a bait that he has come out with. Um, it's pretty much the opposite of an underspin, it's a top spin. It works really well out here on the Delta because that blade is on the top, so you can literally just drag it across the grass and the blade be spinning. So I'm gonna take this one off throw this bad boy on here and see if we can't catch some fish. This just looks so good. I have to throw a frog. I mean... That was like a four pounder. Freaking four pounder right at the boat. See, that's a, that right there is what you call not been fishing in a while. Um, yeah, I horsed that fish incorrectly and came off at the boat. But that hooks it though. That hooks it though.
Yeah, I definitely was not ready for that fish to, to eat. I was literally just about to start burning the bait back because I figured these fish would be on the other side of the grass line since the tide is so high. But that fish just smoked it. Not the greatest hook set since I wasn't prepared, but it was more or less a, a landing error on my part than it was a hook set. So. We'll keep going. So first spot, didn't really go as planned. It usually fishes really good on a high tide, which is what we're sitting on, just starting to come out. Just had that one four pounder on a blow up. But I uh, wanted to take a quick second, and let you guys see some of the merch. As you guys know, I started a website, beardedbassin.com right here. It's got all my shirts that I'm starting to make. And I want you guys to leave a comment down below on what kind of shirt you guys would like to see, some type of Delta theme. If you leave a comment on my next video, I'll actually pick a winner and announce it, and you'll get this shirt right here. Yeah, so it's a pretty sweet shirt. It's, it's one that I call Frog Punch Chatter, because that's the, really the only three rods that you need out here during the summertime is Frog Punch and Chatter. So yeah, I'm, ab I'm about to start punching this stuff right here. High sun, fish should be looking for shade, getting undercover, so uh, put this one down and, uh, get to fishing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow, that was pretty cool. So, I actually I actually saw that fish wake underneath the mat and toss it in. First fish in the boat for the day. Only been out here for an hour or two and uh, saw a little punch fish. Hopefully we can uh, keep replicating that. Well, just got the boat back. Um, yeah, it was kind of an interesting day. Um, long story short, ended up having to get out of the water at like 11.30 noon because man, it turned into a nightmare out there. There are so many boats that you couldn't even drive. I mean, I was going 15 miles an hour down the channel because there were boats just every which way, jet skiers everywhere, and these people obviously don't know how to drive. So um, yeah, just be safe while you guys are out there. But um, if you guys didn't understand what I said earlier, leave a comment down below and I will choose a comment for the next video. Let you guys know who wins the California Delta uh, Frog Punch and Tatter t-shirt. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a short one, I know. I said earlier in the video I took all my footage, got back home and accidentally deleted almost all the fish catches. Um, which is stupid on my part. Just clicked the wrong button and accidentally deleted all but three catches, or three or four. So ended up with about 12, 13 pounds, nothing crazy. A lot of two, two and a half pound fish. Um, couldn't find a whole lot, but caught them punching on the frog, a couple on that top spin. So ended up abandoning the mystery tackle box because I was not getting bit on them. Sometimes that happens during the summer out on the Delta. It has to be a specific bait to get bit. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one. And remember, check out the website, get yourself a t-shirt. Remember, any cats, you see a job. Peace.